we see them A-list stars and they got a drinking problem. A-list stars and they got a drug problem. A-list stars and they kill themselves. <laughs> With that, was that the mind state? Were you in that mind state when three strikes came? When three strikes came? Um, what mind state were you in? When three strikes came, I think I was still, still pretty young and dumb. You know what I mean? I, I, don't, I wouldn't say that I was completely there. And I was still in that space to where I was just enjoying it. Like, I think a lot of people, again, this was something that I was doing outside of school and, you know, and I was feeling next to next to I had to go pick up them classes again. So you doing but sure. but doing no. Well. But I was always on the mindset, well, you know, it, you know, it's probably next month I'm gonna have to go and sign up for class again because, um, you know, it, but with other people, there was no, it was just either this or I'm gonna kill somebody, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And for me, it was like, yo, this is great, but I, I never, there was never an ego attached to what I was doing. I was just, I felt blessed to be able to be doing this with these people who I think is cool and look up to. And I think a lot of other actors, you know, they, you know, they, they put their ego in the room first. They're like, going on there, check out the space. Right. I'll be in there in five minutes. And so it's, it's a different type of energy that you have when you're trying to achieve. But, but for me, I was, I was, I'm from Bakersfield, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was just, I was happy to be here. Like, I was like, man, we're on the set. I'm making a movie. This is dope. You know what I'm saying? And, and that was the extent of it. And I hope that it came out and it was amazing. Um, but if it didn't, I don't know. I tried to do another one. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, you're coming to have fun. You land a starring role. Hollywood being such a competitive place, very few opportunities when it deals with our black male talents. And here's Brian having this good time and luck is on his side. Did you feel the jealousy or did you, did you pick it up at all? Because I could just imagine there's somebody really like wanting yeah. these opportunities and here you go. Yeah. I think um, I've never really ran in those circles and been a part of those circles, so I, I can't say I felt it, felt it. But, you know, sometimes you do feel an energy, you know what I mean, about where you're at and what you're doing. And I know, it, you know, you got to understand that any role that you've gotten, there was a whole lot of all your peers was trying to get that role, too. Um, and I think it was a little... Um, something there ending around that, you know what I mean? Like, you know, it, it, it always would, you know, he's not funny, he's not that talented, so on and so forth. You know, even with, you know, Kevin, they do that a lot. Like, oh, he, he's not that funny, he's that, yeah, well, it's a lot of people who showed up and they laughed really hard. I laughed, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, you know, it, you, you can't please everybody, but a lot of that comes from a place of hatred, you know what I mean? Uh, Thousands of people is not showing up for somebody because they're not this or that. You know what I mean? They are this and that. It might not be your tea, but there's a lot of other people drinking the tea. And I understood that, man. And, um, you know, my my spirit and my energy, like, I just don't uh, I just don't entertain that, man. And so, you know, a lot of times, <laughs> you, you know, you, you, you may want to take my head off it, go right over my head. You know what I mean? I don't know you, man. You know, so I've been able to sort of navigate around that because, again, I never felt this necessity to be a part of the Hollywood circles. And therefore, I wasn't. I, um, I avoided a lot of that nonsense and, and BS. But you do, you know, as you get roles and things happen, you do notice you... You know, you start to get, hey, what's up, and calls from people. You're like, oh, okay, hey, you know you knew me. <laughs> what's up? <laughs> you know what I mean? So as things start picking up. Yeah, with little things. So you see, you know, people watching and, you know, I'm not a dummy. So I know, you know, it's, it's, we've, we've never been friends. You've never extended yourself to me. Um, you know, so I know it's something more there, you know what I mean, for them other than, what, what maybe surface from what I could tell they played a game mm -hmm. where you know it's fake love mm -hmm. but you kind of entertain it. Mm -hmm. it, it like I see that happen with a lot of our stars who get like 
they'll blow up and then all of a sudden they're friends with these other celebrities. It's like, well, how did, did y'all <laughs> when y'all meet? We all know. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, man. And that's that's just a bunch of goofiness. You know what I'm saying? And you know, and people, you know, people high five, hey, whoa, what me? And I know they don't support me. You don't support me. You know what I mean? Like I'm sure you don't support me. And so again, like I'm so in tune with who I am and what I'm trying to do that like after that moment, like I don't, it don't even make it home, right? You know what I mean? I'm used to that, I expect that from you. And so, and, and that just goes to the, just like the goofiness of Hollywood and how fake it can be because everybody's just shucking and jucking and trying to get to the next level, right? And so I sort of judge people on how they treat and view uh, whoever they see to be the least important person in the room, mm. right? And if I see you treat me different than you do that guy or that person over there, then mm, you know what I mean? I, I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna give you the energy to go back and forth with you about it, but you know, I, I put you in the bucket to where I just keep you in front of me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, you know, I can make a choice to not be around these people. So, so to confront you or go back and forth, I'm not going to waste my energy, but it's just a very, it's just a, a, a very goofy space and it attracts like entertainment and actors. It attracts a certain type of personality that most times lacks a foundation, right? And then they have these things about themselves that they think, you know, the stardom is going to feel and it's going to make them feel good. But what do we see? We see them A-list stars and they got a drinking problem. A-list stars and they got a drug problem. A-list stars and they kill themselves. And you're like, whoa, what are you, you know what I mean? Because it just amplifies. Once you blow up, it's gonna amplify whoever you are. If you're insecure when you start, you're gonna be incredibly insecure once you, you, know, you get to where you're going. If you have a little drug problem, you're gonna have a lot of drug problems. If you like to have a drink here and there, you're gonna have a drink everywhere. So it, it doesn't fix or feel anything, but they don't understand that. And then they're at the top wondering why they don't feel good. You know what I mean? And they topple over.